this video, I'll be showing you how to fix your iPhone storage full problem. It's a very simple method. So if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. But anyways, getting into it, you might be getting a lot of prompts whenever your storage is, you know, getting very full on your iPhone. It could be from your gallery or just downloading a bunch of apps or games. So I'll be showing you how to fix this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to head on over to your settings. Once you're in your settings, head on over to general. From here, go over to iPhone storage, which is the third one down. And you're going to see right now I have 183 out of 256 gigabytes used. So it says recommendation, save up to 72 gig and then see what takes up the most storage. Now 72 gig is a lot. So if I just press show all, it shows me all the different recommendations I could do to save some storage. So I could offload unused apps and save up to 8.43 gig by automatically offloading unused apps when I'm low on storage, but my documents and my data will still be saved, so don't worry. You can also review large attachments from your SMS. So over here, I can save up to 7.48 gig, and I can see photos and videos and attachments that take up so much storage in messages, and I can consider deleting them. You can also turn on auto delete old conversations, check out your recently deleted album. You can empty that and save some storage there as well. And if you have iCloud photos, and if let's say you have iCloud storage and you're paying for it monthly, you might as well be using it and then you can enable it there. When you scroll down even more, you can see exactly what's taking up the most space. So as you can see, my photos app is taking up 97.75 gigabytes which is a substantial amount. But let's say there was an app that I wanted that, you know, was taking up a lot of space and I didn't want it anymore. I would just have to click on it and then I can either offload the app, which will free up storage used by the app, but keeps its document and data. And then it says reinstalling the app will reinstate your data if the app is available to download. Or I can just delete the app, which says this will delete the app and all related from this iPhone. This action can't be undone. So if I wanted to just press delete app and then press delete again, and then it's gone. 